Good evening and thanks for joining us. Bill has the night off. Green Bay police say since the beginning of June, there have been 18 incidents involving gel guns, also called air guns, and it's led to several arrests. An arrest that took place this week is sparking pushback among some community members. In a first alert update, Joshua Peguero joins us live in Whitney Park, where police talk with them about those concerns earlier this evening. Joshua. Cami police say these gel guns are dangerous. They provoke fear among the public, but one mother says her son was unfairly targeted. So the purpose of this gathering is to get our black youth heard. Taisha Jackson says her 14 year old son was arrested on Wednesday on Washington Street along with five others. Other kids are very, very traumatized by this. Police charged them with several crimes, including disorderly conduct. Officers say a person reported being shot with a gel gun while on city deck. Jackson held a meeting at Whitney Park with police and several community members who are black and Hispanic, concerned that police used excessive force. But officers denied those claims, saying the whole story isn't being told. We meet with the community members to explain why things went the way they did. Um, and there, there are situations where there's only a fraction of the video that is being portrayed, but we want the community to know that there's so much more video. The cameras that the officers wear show all this. Green Bay police warned that these jail guns are an issue. On Wednesday, five juveniles were arrested in Bay Beach for committing a robbery using that type of gun. Police say they're committed to transparency. All we ask is a seat at the table uh, for anything, of whether it's a small issue or a big issue in our community. We just want to have a seat at the table so they have a chance to explain what happened, why it happened. Several others showed up to support black and brown youth as well as police. And they just went through a terrible pandemic as well as seeing stuff happen the last two years amongst their peers, amongst people who look like them, people who don't look like them. Cami, police say one of the reasons why they're just so concerned is that these gel guns almost look like they're real guns. They're asking parents to tell your children to avoid using them. Reporting live in Green Bay, Joshua Peguero, Action 2 News.